Hello and welcome to Advice with Ben. Today I'll be talking about being a teacher. Do you want to be bullied by children for the rest of your life? If so, then why not consider working in a school? Obviously I'm exaggerating and being a teacher can actually be very fulfilling. You can even educate the leaders of tomorrow. For example, here's a picture of me teaching baby Barack Obama. It's important to remember that deep down, 90% of kids are lovely human beings who just want to learn new things and have a pleasant life. Unfortunately, the other 10% are literal hellspawn. However, most kids are nice, so try not to let the derricks of the world get you down. Obviously, before becoming a teacher, you need to decide what your specialism could be. For example, you could be that history teacher who seems suspiciously way too into Nazi history, or the drama teacher with lots of weird acting exercises where you have to pretend to be a plant for half an hour. Or you could even be the music teacher who's in a local band and is actually pretty well liked by the students. But let's be real, you probably aren't cool enough for that one. To become a teacher, you'll have to study in a school before being sent to a different kind of school, which you'll then graduate from and get sent back to school. It's an endless loop with no escape. When you arrive, your first job will be to decorate your classroom with the lamest inspirational posters you can possibly find. As a new teacher, you'll learn how to keep in control of a rowdy class as well as how to use a high-powered riot hose when certain kids become especially annoying. When not busy blasting children out of your classroom, you'll have to educate them on a variety of things they'll need to know in life, such as basic geographical knowledge or the science behind why they shouldn't shove a fork in a toaster. There are many different kinds of teachers you could potentially be. For example, you could be the teacher who takes everything way too seriously and gets angry at literally everyone. Or you could be the teacher that thinks he's cool and down with the kids, despite being insanely out of touch. This is very similar to the teacher who gets very easily distracted, happily spending the entire lesson telling you way too much about their home life and the 12 cats they refer to as their children. When kids leave school at the end of the day, teachers still have lots of work to do, marking exams and planning out future lessons. Marking kids' work is made 10 times harder by the fact most kids have the handwriting abilities of a chimpanzee. A drawback of being a teacher is you have to avoid using social media as much because otherwise a curious kid will almost definitely find your Instagram and then they'll share it to literally everyone in school. On the other hand, a perk of being a teacher is you get longer summer holidays than most other professions. This brief period of peace and tranquility is unfortunately interrupted when you remember that people are still having kids, and therefore there's a brand new generation of demons for you to teach. If you enjoyed my video on the struggles of becoming a teacher, I'd really appreciate a subscribe. Thanks for watching.